Welcome to this Windows 8 channel and uh, we are going to talk today about Windows 10, where we are at, where we're at right now in the builds. First of all, this build is 10,036 as you can see at the bottom right. Don't search for it through the updates if you are in the technical preview program. This is a leak from Microsoft. It is not available for download um, for you know everybody running the technical previews but I've uh, actually managed to put my hands on a copy of this so this is why you see the technical preview build 10036 this is a leak this is a build that dates to March 14th 13 or 14th so um, it's the latest build but it's meant in you know only for the insiders at Microsoft themselves not at the Microsoft Insider program that everybody uses. And so we're going to talk a little bit about what's uh, changed, what's new, uh, what's interesting, and what is kind of a little scary also about Windows 10 uh, in this latest build. So first of all, if you are in the technical preview program, no news yet of a new build available to uh, everybody that is using the Insider program, but there's uh, Paul Tarot on his Tarot.com website that uh, actually talks that maybe this week we could have a new version of the build. Now this is 10,036. This will not be the build that insiders will get. We'll get a slightly higher number. And uh, apparently that new build that everybody will get should have one thing, Spartan. And Spartan is missing actually from this build. And that's a little deceiving because I was one of the reasons I installed 10,036 was to check Spartan browser, which is still not there. So um, apparently they're not actually putting Spartan yet in the builds. But Microsoft did mention that Spartan will be in the next build available to users. So what's uh, new in this thing? First of all, when I installed it, it had a new install screen very different from what we're used to with Windows and it was actually a nice install screen because it has this big round circle and in the middle you get the uh, percentage where it's at when it installs at the bottom you get uh, what step it is actually now doing in the install and um, the circle is actually filled up slowly as the install progress is going on which is a nice new way of actually installing the software. Um, installing Windows has become incredibly easy with the fact that it doesn't ask many questions and if you're just upgrading like I did now just upgrading from Windows to another version of Windows I don't think it can get is you know much easier than this uh, really really nothing really asked and actually just you know ends up by saying do you want to use the same fast uh, customized Windows that you know everything's done for you which is pretty cool there's also a new login page now when you log in instead of having that same login page we, st we still have in uh, Windows 8 for example because that's pretty much what we had in Windows 10 we now have an off-center your your picture and your account is off center. There's also a mention on the bottom left of what account you're using to log in right now, and uh, it's actually a much better login page. It looks more professional. It's an interesting look. We um, also have a new transparency start menu. As you see here, you can see through the start menu now, which uh, are the effects that are added a little bit like the Windows arrows. Uh, arrow glass feature in Windows Vista where we started having these transparencies where you see through the windows well they're back now in the build 10,036 so uh, even windows that you uh, open up if you click a browser or you click something what happens is that uh, the edges of the windows will also become transparent and so slowly we're getting into this uh, really interesting new uh, built of uh, features for the Windows 10 uh, with transparencies and so on. Um, we also have a new trash can. If you look at the upper left in this window, you see that this now has a recycle bin that is changed. The recycle bin is now more round, 
looks more like a real trash can actually and so they've changed that icon one very cool feature of uh, Windows 10 technical preview built 10,036 and what will be probably implemented in the future Windows 10 is a, now you have the possibility to actually move apps to an SD card so that means that if you've bought a computer that has a small hard drive um, that is especially true if you have a tablet type computer that has an SSD hard drive often you have you know 64 or 128 gigs if you don't want to pay too much and that's kind of small for Windows well now the apps you will be able to send them to SD cards which means that you'll be able to for example you know buy a small 64 gigabyte tablet and just enter you know insert uh, another 64 or 128 gigabyte SD card and install apps there which means that you'll actually automatically extend the amount of space so I think that's a great great feature um, the possibility of now putting apps on SD card is a really an amazing feature and I think this is a pretty cool uh, thing Cortana still not available in Canada so if you want to use it you have to go into your computer and change your region and say you're in the USA uh, so still no Cortana in Canada will be available will it be available in the next official build we don't know but if you want to try Cortana and you're not in the United States all you have to do is go into the language and region of Windows and change it to USA um, United States and you'll actually have a Cortana working Cortana uh, there's a new way now. First of all, when you have uh, ISO files, they actually now show up as drives, which I find really, really nice. So you'll be able to actually kind of mount ISO files, which is a cool little thing, actually. Um, same, same colorful, you know, icons when you look at the uh, File Explorer uh, with a little more details and, you know, for example, the music folder has a little musical note and so on downloads as a f like a, an arrow pointing down uh, so you know that's interesting um, a lot of people don't like it a lot of people seem to be complaining about the colorful um, icons but I actually like that um, I know it's a little eye candy but I personally I like it because I you know it changes things it makes things a little more beautiful but it it's true that it does seem like a little childish maybe in the way that it is but um, it's not bad I actually like that um, you have a new way of actually now viewing the space left on your hard drive so for or any drive uh, before you had the pie chart now when you right click and go to properties instead of a pie chart they've replaced it with a disk it looks like a disk same colors used blue and purple and the same you know information the blue is the use space and the purple is what's left on your hard drive uh, but um, you know uh, it's a welcome change actually I like to see this better like this than with a pie chart uh, I think that is you know even though a very small change an interesting little change another thing that uh, is kind of new in this build is the fact that you now have the Wi-Fi networks the way you can see the Wi-Fi networks I've it really has changed and uh, it's a welcome thing you know it's I, I think it's a little better in having bigger icons and so on but the, you know what the negative side that I find of this the gray is kind of too dark so it's kind of difficult to see really how much uh, the signal strength is on a Wi-Fi signal you know when it's really full you see that it's darker than when it's empty but when you look at the ones at the bottom here like uh, if you look at those right here um, man it's kind of difficult you know I, I see that there's only one bar but it's a little difficult to really see how many bars are um, you know what's the signal strength I think that needs to still be tweaked a little so that it's easier to see the difference between the uh, bars for the signal strength here I think that would be much better really much better um, but uh, a new way of actually seeing this um, apart from that no Spartan browser and that's a little uh, I, I had a little deception there with the no Spartan yet on 10,036 really really wish there would have been one 
Um, speed is good. Speed, speed is still really, really nice. Um, the only thing that I've noticed, but I've upgraded, you know, I haven't done a clean install. I've upgraded my build 9926 to this 10,036 build. It seems to be a little slower to load up, to start up when I turn on my computer. Uh, it could be an effect of the fact that I upgraded instead of really um, doing a fresh install. But it seems to be a little slower in booting up. But once it's booted, it is still fast, crisp, works really, really well. Still has Internet Explorer 11. Nothing has changed with that. No Spartan browser. No blue screens. I've been using it for a full day and really extensively done a lot of stuff with this. No blue screens, no errors, no problems at all. Uh, works fantastically well. If you're one of the insiders that has problems, I think the next build might actually fix a lot of the problems you might have. So hopefully this is going to keep up. What is scary about the build 10,036? If you look at the fact that we're a month and a half away after the build, the last build, which is 9926, uh, what I find scary is the fact that there actually isn't a lot of changes in Windows 10 technical preview. And that's scary because we are getting slowly towards the September, October release. And I wonder why we're still not having major changes visible in the builds. But you know what? With the Spartan browser and maybe Microsoft's going to surprise us a little more with the next build. Uh, hopefully this week or next week. But uh, hmm, it is uh, slowly the impression that you know this is pretty much what we'll have in Windows 10 if things go on like this. And uh, by the way, Microsoft did say this uh, Monday that um, they had their one millionth feedback from users. And what's scary about that is that with one million feedback, you know what? It's kind of bizarre that there isn't that many changes in the technical preview yet. So, um, hmm. That's interesting. So, uh, hopefully... We're waiting. We're still waiting. So all you guys in the insider program, uh, you know, be patient. Uh, I know it's long. You know what? Everybody, everybody is kind of thinking that it's way too long. We should have had a build right now. Um, word from Microsoft, from you know, sources at Microsoft seem to say that the reason there were no builds is they had some problems with the builds and they didn't they didn't want to release builds that didn't work well for insiders so um, is it true or not I don't know but it's uh, way too long you know we should have much faster builds I think for technical preview so that's pretty much what's happening right now in the Windows technical technical preview um, Windows 10 Pro hope that you enjoyed the video if you have any comments or questions let us know um, you can subscribe to our channel by the way to uh, get more information and see what are the new you know windows 8 and windows in general videos and also if you have that new windows 8 computer why not check out our videos lots of videos to help you use windows 8 to the max so thank you for watching and hope to see you again bye bye